You're listening to the best of the Morning X. You can also catch it on the Morning X podcast, wherever you get your podcasts. Or at 99x.com. Got a letter here from a mom who wants a piece. Uh, Dear Morning X, uh, first of all, you must know that my family and I are big fans of the show and the station. I'm writing this email because as a mother, I must take revenge on the animal that hurt my child. Let me try to explain as briefly as possible. A few weeks back in Cartersville at Crystal. Oh, you don't need to say anything else. <laughs> That's it. Remember that? Let's, do, yeah. Let's go ahead and play a song. You just Cartersville said it. and Crystal. Cartersville there and Crystal. was a crystal eating contest hosted by none other than Crash Clark himself. Your idea, I'm sure. Now, I have a husband and four sons. We were all so excited that my husband, Mark, and my second oldest son, Sean, who was 16, were going to enter. They did. As we all anxiously awaited their turn, Sean went to visit with Crash. Sean followed him around some and even got a few pictures taken. There were other kids following him also. Sounds good. Follow him around some. Yeah. (laughs) We were having a good time watching the other uh, contests and watching my two younger children jump in the jumpy thing. I don't know what that That means. That big cushion deal, you know. Yeah, yeah, you know, the jumpy thing. The moonwalks. It wasn't long, though, before Sean came back with this look on his face that only a mother could see. Oh, my God. I immediately asked him what was wrong. It wasn't a look. It was probably a crystal burger hanging out of his mouth. He said, Mom, and, you know, we can bring her on to hear the reading of this letter. He said, Mom, Crash told me that if I did not leave him alone and quit following him, he is going to call the manager and have me thrown off the property. I could not believe my ears. Of course, first I asked if Crash may have been joking, and Sean said he didn't think so. He seemed serious enough for Sean to back off and leave him alone. My next feeling was to console my child. I told him I was very sorry that Crash is a jerk. Oh, my and isn't God. As, and isn't as cool as we thought he was, <laughs> and maybe Crash was intimidated by Sean's size. I then told him... I'd call the morning next Monday and take care of it. Uh, We resumed to have our fun. They had their contest, and wouldn't you know it, my Sean won. He ate eight eight Crystal Burgers and won all the prizes, and 99X staff members took pictures of him. I was so proud. There's a shocker. (laughs) So uh, uh, now, however, I am crushed because of Crash. Now I cringe at the sound of his voice every morning as he talks traffic and trash, but I have to because I love the Morning X. Anyway, he let us down. You ruined a family trip to Crystal? (laughs) Yeah, you know me. I love my children and will, uh, of course, protect their feelings always anytime I can. And blah, blah, blah. She can't sleep at night. She wants revenge. She at night. She Mm. wants to avenge the treatment of her son, and this is her, uh, Anna Bales. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Good Anna. morning, Anna. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. I, we never Show get negative crash. letters on Crash. Well, Most people love Crash. Absolutely. Now, we've heard the story. Crash, uh, your comments. Well, we did love Crash. <laughs> well, you know, when you, when you do an event out in Cartersville, it's usually a big thing. When you're hanging out at a Crystal on a Saturday, there's not oh a lot going on at Cartersville. You know, so. she's just lucky I wasn't at the gig. Oh, yeah. Let me just, yeah. Anna, let me just tell you a little something, okay? If I put up with your little pestering son you don't even for 30 minutes, I remember him because not only did he not leave me alone, he not only followed me around, he had his face in my face. Every time I turned around, I bumped into him, and his words were, quote, unquote, I am not going to leave you alone till you give me a T-shirt. And that's exactly how he sounded, too. I said, just back no, away. I'll give you a shirt. He doesn't. He's not a redneck child. I'm sorry. But I do know that he said that. Yeah, he did. I do know how my Sean can be. Which is why I was very nice for the first 30 minutes. And then, <laughs> you know, I mean... I, Look, I mean, I appreciate you listening well, to the know, station. All the Wait, other hang on, kids Anna, were Anna, Anna, yelling hold, at Anna, you, though. Sean Anna. was volu- He was in your face because he wasn't yelling at you after attention. You know. Well, he, he needed some attention around. somewhere because he wouldn't leave me alone. And I'll tell you what, I don't. I don't you know, I, I appreciate you guys coming to the event. I appreciate you listening. Listening, you you can form your own opinions, but I got to be honest with you. Your son was a pain in the ass. <laughs> 
she wasn't that bad. I, you know, Anna, I, I've never heard Crash come in after a gig talking like that because yeah. I remember vividly. It was about yeah. a month ago. Wasn't no it? one works the crowd and talks to people and hams it up more than Crash. I love people. He I shake people. hands. I kiss babies. But your, your son <laughs> just daughters. <laughs> your daughters. Yeah. I kiss your yeah. daughters too. <laughs> your son just pulled my last nerve and he wouldn't go away. I even you told the remote what? tech, Lewis, that was out there. I said, Lewis, this guy is just in my airspace. Well, he was I all over find you. that kind of cool. Cool? Why, why would I yeah. find it cool that a 16-year-old is drooling on my neck? He wasn't drooling on your neck. He was he attached to my you. spine. He's a fan of yours, you know? He, just, he saw you, and it's like, look, it's Crash, Mom. And I said, it is not. And he said, yes, it is. Well, you can't take him home. He just got home from his honeymoon. He's not even tanned. <laughs> he was well, very tan. Wait a minute. How, why didn't you just give him a T-shirt first of all and just shut him up? Oh, I, I, I told yeah. him. I told him we had limited supplies. We're waiting for the eating contest. We're going to give away stuff. Thanks for coming out. Yada yada yada. A lot of other people were there. We were doing some autograph signings, having a good time. Everybody was coming and going, taking a picture. He did not leave me alone, and he knows it too. I think if you honestly ask him, he knew he was a little bit of a pain in the rear end. Who was like signing I autographs? Said, you have a big I celebrity know how there. Sean can yeah. be, but it just shocked me. The way you told him, you know. Well, you know, after I'm thirty gonna, minutes have you of thrown it, off the property. He's sixteen. Well, I said, you know, look, dude, back Thank away. I was trying to speak the language. I was like, yo, brah. He was totally let down. He well, comes sit by me, and he's like, you know, well, that wasn't cool. He's hung out and um, volunteered his time over at the PlayStation tent. He's met. Andrew volunteered WK, his time. All over the place. Uh, you, you know, know Crash's crash defense. But in Crash's defense, because you've come to a few things, I mean, it doesn't mean that all of a sudden he's got ownership of Crash for, no, for a couple hours. Well, crash, but it was the first time he ever got to interact with And him. when we did interact, I said hi. We shook hands. I said hello. In fact, I even think I hugged him several times and we took <laughs> pictures and all was well. Now, now, after that initial meeting, and it's time for your son to back away and let me do the rest of what I've got to do. Not tell me that he's not going to leave my side. All the other grabby kids. And yeah. share myself with all the other grabby kids. Yeah, that sounds like can... a heavenly gig, Jimmy. Well, yeah. Yeah, we're, yeah, how do we? Right. I don't know. Yeah, and let me, and let me ask you something because this. let me ask you something because how Crash is describing your son, it kind of sounds like something a younger kid would do, not knowing any better. Have you ever talked to your son like protocol wise about you know just how to interact with people? Because maybe he was all over Crash. Oh, I know he was all over Crash. But yeah, Sean knows how to act. Have you ever talked to your son, like, protocol-wise about, you know, just how to interact with people? Because maybe he was all over Crash. Oh, I know he was all over Crash. But yeah, Sean knows how to act. He works with my husband a lot during the summer. And they worked that day, and they made it back to Cartersville. You know, they heard it on um, I-75. And they called me, and they said, there's an eating contest at Crystal, you know. So I headed down 113 towards Crystal, and they came down 75, and we kind of met there at the same time for something to do. All bulletins you know, alert. Little kids, we've got little boys. <laughs> Eating contest at Crystal! <laughs> so let's go! I mean... It wasn't quite like that. Yeah, I mean... You know, <laughs> it, was like, it, was like, it was like, bring the babies, now. let's go! I mean, it's like the circus coming to town. It's funny now. Anna, Anna, let me interject something here. Okay. Uh, you know, because I know Crash pretty well, and I will tell you, this guy has pretty high tolerance. I mean, he does all the bar gigs, and let me tell you something, there is nothing more annoying than people at a bar gig. Sorry, but that's just how it is. People, it's true. I mean, there's high just tolerance. nothing worse than... He's got very high tolerance. He's got a lot of patience. He does. I've got to believe that if <laughs> your son was to the point where Crash was threatening to have him thrown out... <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sure he's a nice a kid, crystal. and I'm sure his intentions oh, are, crystal. I'm sure he has very uh, good intentions, and I'm sure he had very good intentions. My guess is that that day, your son was acting like a putz. <laughs> you got to teach the kid to, when to back off. Well, yeah, but all we hear about Crash is how fun he is. You know, he's this lots of fun at a party. And, well, you he know, is. I mean, there he was in Cartersville. Jesus Christ, you know, Cartersville. But right. your kid was so on his jock. <laughs> yeah, he, he was. Like, he know, was. Yeah, I mean, it's one thing to go up and say, hey, how you doing? Fun. But then, like, once your time is up, Crash has to meet other people. And Well, I'm saying he's got to meet 
some of the other people the there. It wasn't he's, that big, Barn. Well, but it he's got station duties. There. He's got, I mean, he's got stuff he's got to do with the client. He's got, I mean, he's got, he's there to work. I mean, everybody, it's like everybody there gets a little piece of Crash's time. You know what I'm saying? You know, well, Crash watch, watch your words there, he, well, JB. I mean, what I mean is, you know, he's the guy's doing a gig and he wants to meet everybody and he wants Not to shake everybody hands. Everybody wanted a piece of crap. Well, though. he wants, but I'm saying he wants to meet everybody. He wants to shake everybody's hand and be fair and, you know, but if your son was all over, uh, like as Barnes put it, on his jock, like that, then he needs to back off. Well, if it was your daughter, it it'd be a different like story. Yeah. yeah. No, it was like that. Now, you, I'm sorry because <laughs> I mean, you got to take I, responsibility for your kid here. I, I fa- am, and I, I always do. Here's it's, somebody chiming in. Hey, Jeff, join the conversation. Hey. Hey. Crash. Yeah, ma'am. Listen, I I sympathize with you, man. I'll tell you what. You know what this sounds like? The typical parent that says my child would never do that I stuff didn't you know what i mean do it i, you, but, I just uh, said crash didn't handle it very well he, <laughs> you know? he probably i'm get crashed did you uh, ask him politely a couple of times to please back off several times i said dude let me finish my thing let me do my thing i'll you know we'll talk later get a shirt whatever and his and like i said his statement was i am not leaving your side until you give me a t-shirt in which case yeah. he was within oh. he was within breathing distance of my neck <laughs> i want to see the guy do that to bar lisa uh, <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. i'm not going to leave your lisa. side until you give me a t-shirt lisa wants to chime in i completely agree with jeff and everyone and probably what most other people are thinking lady you've got to get your kid under control i mean <laughs> i understand that many crashes a really Famous person here in Atlanta. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, it's not like he's signing for thirty autographs. minutes. You have to have him nagging him around. He like wasn't signing. I, I know. I know what kind of child it is that you're talking about, but. There, there's, there's got to be a personal space issue, and there's enough to just say hello and politely go on. And what did you say? He well, wasn't you, signing autographs. You don't even know him. He wa- he wasn't signing autographs. You said he wasn't even signing autographs or anything like that. He's not a famous person. He was just. There, oh, you, know? you were so wrong. He is so famous. Oh, what are you talking about? We, we, we had to set up the, the signing booth when you left. I mean, I feel bad because you sound really <laughs> nice. Yes, you okay? do. You really, you don't sound like one of these, you know, I screaming, nice. yelling maniacs. No, you sound very necks. nice. You do sound like you're in denial, though. No, yeah, you sound right. I, I, I don't think you see your kid as others see your kid. Jill, well, it, Jill wants to talk. Jill? Yeah, is this the mother who lets her kid sit on Santa's lap and monopolize Santa's time during oh, Christmas? Oh, yeah, that's a good one. That's a good analogy. <laughs> and I'm not leaving until I get the gifts, so. Nope. Yeah, give me that candy not cane, me. man. Crash, I mean, is that is that the kind of kid he was? He was not going to leave. No. Oh, are you kidding? Yeah. He's a good kid. All my boys are good kids. Is he there? Huh? Is he there? Who, Sean? Or, yeah. or is he... Well, the thing about Sean, he hurt his back at work this past weekend, and he's on painkillers right now. So, Oh, uh, nothing like a 16-year-old on narcotics. <laughs> <laughs> well, but is he there? Well, you read everything bad, Crash. Um, yeah, but he's sleeping. He's sleeping. He wanted me to get him up, and I tried, but... The tell him there's a well, hey, tell him mean, there's a crystal eating contest. He'll wake up. <laughs> no, he won't ever do that again. Really yeah, unfortunately, the uh, Percocet like has him under. Can yeah. you yeah. dangle a crystal on a fishing yeah. pole maybe <laughs> into his room? Get a, lead him to the phone. <laughs> they were all belly aching. Lead him to the phone. Belly aching. All right. Well, Crash. Oh, you know man. I've never ever seen Crash this lit up after an appearance ever. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I, I can, I, I mean, I can defend Crash's behavior. At, well, I can't do that. Yeah. yeah we, okay. <laughs> no, but he's His, great with people. Defend my behavior on Monday. I know. I can't. De- I can't defend. The, you know. I, I mean, again, I Crash. Feel, I got to tell you, I would have given the kid the damn shirt. Yeah, yeah, I don't care if you only had six. All the other winners got one, but Sean didn't at the end. Well, because you went to the point of no return. You drove yeah. him to where he wasn't going to give him a shirt no matter what. Yeah, at that point, he wasn't going to get anything because I told him just. And to, that was where you were an ass. You know, oh, you mean after the 30 minutes of your son with he, his nose he, up he my rectum. He won the contest. He won, you know, all the, the, the other people gave him, Coca-Cola gave him all their prizes and everything. Well, ma- and you guys took pictures of him, but you didn't give him that shirt. Crash, mail him one. Just mail him a shirt. Thank you, guys. Okay, we'll Thank see you. Okay, okay oh, bye, Crash. Bye. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I, you know, I've, she mm. sounds nice, but, you know, the kid She's is in down, denial. The kid's down your throat like SARS, and she doesn't see it, and she can't see it. Yeah. Parents are oblivious. Yeah, they, they, they really, totally are. Uh, yeah. The best of the morning X. 99X.